Hello family, I didn't think this would be a three-part word, but it's turned into that because when the Lord calls, be prepared to answer. So God has instructed me to come back to clarify, which leads me to understand the gravitas, the weight of this word, of this prophetic warning and the seriousness of it, why we have to take it seriously. And I encourage you to look at all three words. They're not very long and I'm hoping that this one won't be too long either. I'm just going to speak as the Holy Spirit of God, of Jesus Christ, the name above all names, the power in that name alone, the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm going to speak as he leads me to speak. This warning about the body of Christ, cancer being in the body of Christ that needs to be cut away, that Jesus himself will cut away, but that we need to be aware of. If you were, if you of sick and physically sick in your body you're going to start doing things to get healthy you're going to start helping your immune system you're going to start taking action to ensure that you are in the best of health to fight that cancer okay it's something that we need to fight this is why the lord spiritually spiritual warfare we fight on our knees we fight in prayer we fight all the time in our mind we fight in our sleep <laughs> from morning to night we have spirit in spiritual battle what the Lord wants me to, uh, I was just about to go and do something, but the Lord, like I say, when he calls, be prepared to answer. I want to make sure I do the Lord justice with this. God has made us aware that there is a cancer in the body of Christ. Because so that we allow him to order our steps and so that we don't be taken off guard. Many of us are aware of this already, but so we're not taken off guard by those that we believed that we believed sincerely, despite all we know about Satan posing as an angel of light, that we believed were with us, were in Christ. But remember, if you are not gathering with me, Jesus said, and thus saith the Lord, he's still saying it today. If you are not gathering, you are scattering. If you are, you are either with me or you are against me. If you are not with me, if they, if they are with me, then they're not against me. Okay. So you're either with the Lord or you're not. There are no two ways. The lukewarm thing. I, the first time the Lord called me, November 2022, when he forced me, it wasn't the first time he called me, but I was like Jonah. Like I've always said to those of my beautiful subscribers who know and are aware, the good subscribers that I have, the good ones, the ones, the true brethren of Christ, because I'm aware of, I'm aware of everything. Okay. The Lord lives in me. The omnipotent Lord lives in me. So I am aware. But the first time he told me to speak, it was with regards to the separation of the wheat and the tares. It, that was the urgency. That was why there was an urgency placed on this, because he wanted me to let the lukewarm understand. Choose this day whom you will serve. If it's God or your own desires, if it's God or Satan, if it's the spirit or the flesh. So I'm just going to try and keep, keep this brief. This cancer that is in the body of Christ. Don't be surprised because Jesus himself warned us that it will be the members of your own household, the household of God. And God always starts at home. He's always going to start with his own. I'm not about to go and chastise somebody else's child. I always start at home. If my child, God forbid, when she's older and gets into some altercation with another child, I'm not going to question that child or reprimand that child. I leave that child to her own parents her own father her own guardian it's my child i'm going to deal with likewise the lord is dealing with us first something is coming and he's dealing with us first his children and the body of christ is the church to those who don't know and who may not know who may not be aware i don't know who's watching so for, so for the so for clarification purposes for, for the understanding of all who, who are watching this cancer that is in the church, that is in the body of Christ, coming through those that purport to be Christians. The Lord, let me explain the gravitas of this. The Lord had put this inkling into me already. The seriousness of it already. And this morning I encountered someone who claims to be in the body of Christ, but they have the spirit of Cain in them. And the Lord allowed me to become upset, not in front of them or but he allowed my spirit to be disturbed and I did become upset within myself and I voiced it to a family member that I 
can trust, that I can trust. I, I, I let them know that I was upset because what is wrong with this person? I expect it from everyone. But this person that claims to be, they, all, they have a hatred for me. And it was pointed out to me that you remind them of something. You being the real deal, because this person knows how I live my life. You remind them that they are not. Okay, so there's a warning. There's a warning there in that I have to take heed of and that I ask that you take heed of too. That light is back to that old, same old song. Taylor's old as time. That light that resides, that light that resides within you irks the demons inside of them. And that is why their goal is to stop you. And believe me, you will be surprised. You will be surprised the people that take pleasure in pain. Even those you're trying to help. So let's not digress. The, the body of Christ, the Lord warned us, the members of your own household will, will be the ones to hand you over. They will be, so don't be surprised that the help that you require, and you are going to get that help. God is going to send the right people. But just as in the story of the Good Samaritan, it wasn't those that you would expect that helped the dying man. It was an outsider. And who is it that the prophets went to? Why did they become angry with Christ? I'll put it in the description box. What I'm referring to. Why did they become angry with Christ when he spoke the truth? He told them, who did the prophets go to? Outsiders. We have been grafted in. Those, the believers that are not of the, that are not the Jews. The message of the gospel is to be preached first to the Jews and then the Gentiles. Outsiders grafted in. Now it doesn't matter, Jew or Gentile, once you are of the body of Christ. But this satanic, there was a satanic element. Think about all the denominations of the world. There is a satanic element. It's trying to poison the body of Christ. Remember, the Antichrist, the awful horror, is going to pose as Christ. He is going to be Christ-like. That is starting. There is a delusion starting already. They're going to purport to want to help you, but they seek your downfall. They seek your destruction. They are sent to destroy your mission. Even those that are not aware. I made a word not too long ago. Your enemies work for Satan and they know it. If you have not seen that video, go and look at it. You'd be surprised, those that are working for Satan. That hour has come. That hour has come. Believe me, that's what this warning is referring to. It has, it's already started. It's already begun. It's already begun. There is a cancer in the body of Christ, but trust me, the great physician, the great physician, physician, excuse me if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, the doctor that came for the sick, because a doctor comes for the sick, not the healthy, as Jesus said. That doctor is Christ and he is cutting out the cancer. The Lord also reminded me. Holy Spirit. Fear not. <laughs> the Lord just said to me, fret not thyself because of evildoers for like the grass they wither and die, which I said in my other word. God bless you. I love you with the love of Christ. Take heed. Be on guard. OK, because you're very close. And that's the problem. Don't be fooled by what your natural eyes see. Take care. Glory to God. He's reminded me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The reason this is this is this is very crucial. This is crucial for you to realise. The reason God had me remember the spirit of Cain, the reason God reminded me and and spoke the words the spirit of Cain, and made me realise. Wait a minute, the spirit of Cain. And I even said at the time the spirit of Cain. How come I've said the spirit of Cain? And this person says they're a Christian. 
I haven't said the spirit of Jezebel. I haven't said the Leviathan spirit. I haven't sp spoken about Haman. I've specifically said the spirit of Cain. Cain was Abel's brother, the family, the brethren. Our brothers and sisters, the body of Christ is our brothers and sisters. That's what God wants me to remind you of. There is a jealousy. What was the spirit of Cain? Jealousy. He was jealous of Abel. There is something right now with this separation that is going on. Please, please take heed of this. With this separation that is going on with the wheat and the tares and with the fact that the Lord warned us that it will be the members of your own household and that mother will be against daughter and that daughter will be against mother-in-law and two will be against three and three will be against two. That's what's starting. There is a jealousy that wicked spirit, jealousy. Oh, gosh, the Lord told us anger is bad enough, but jealousy. Who can come up against jealousy? It's wicked. We know what jealousy is responsible for. Anyone that is familiar with the scriptures. So this spirit of Cain is the cancer that is infecting the body of Christ. Please, please take heed. Take heed. This is so important. This is directly from God. God told me all of today. He warned me, he, he, he instilled this to me and then he made it very plain. He showed me through scriptures, he sh showed me through occurrences and he started this message yesterday evening. <sighs> the spirit of Cain has entered the body of Christ. That is the cancer, jealousy. That's what's occurring. That's what's causing this infection that needs to be cut away. So be aware of those that claim to love you, that claim to be your sister or your brother in Christ, but are jealous of you. That's the warning. That's the prophetic warning. They are, if they don't have the, the Holy Spirit of God, remember the Holy Spirit of God is humble. And it will be able to, it will be able to, it will be able, able, Cain and Abel. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Holy Jesus. The Holy Spirit will be able to withstand constructive criticism because only a fool doesn't like to be corrected is what the Bible warns us of. The Bible told us plainly that the God, that God, the Father, chastises the son that he loves. He chastises the one that he loves. And only a fool doesn't like correction. So the Holy Spirit allows you to be able, Cain and Abel, Listen, there's no coincidence. There's no coincidence. The synchronicity is a clue to when the Holy Spirit is speaking. The Holy Spirit will enable you to take that constructive criticism if they don't have that in them. And you will know if, if even if they, even if they pretend to at the time, it will manifest. Listen, I'm not going to go there. That's another video of how you will know and how you will identify it. Take it to the Lord. Take it to the Father. He will he will demonstrate it to you. If you have the spirit in you, you will know. That was the other part of the message, the Cain and Abel connection. Do your research. Look in the description box. I will put the scriptures that are relevant there. If I miss any, please tell me. <laughs> put it in the comments. I love you with the love of Christ. Be on guard. Ephesians 6, 12. I think I have that correctly. The, spirit, the armour of God. Put on the whole armour of God. That's how we fight our battles. I love you. God bless you. Take care.